right, what do we got here, Brian? All right, got a newer Corolla. Just finished installing the Viper Smart Start along with the two-way one-button remote start. It's got a nice long range, got a good good mile. And uh, let me show you some of the remotes and the options that we got on this. So on the uh, factory remote, we can press the lock button three times and start. Better yet, on the uh, two-way Viper remote, when you tap this, it's going to give you a green indicator that the car is running. And it'll blink steady while it's running. So you can ch just check down and look at your remote and know that your car is still on. Uh, thirdly, we've got, check this out. You could do this all from your phone. You could lock, unlock, start it. Uh, that's uh, the latest Viper DS4 for our new Corolla. Let me show you how easy it works with the phone. So right here we could tap lock. So start it from here. Check that out. What do you guys think? I think so, that's great. Alright, so um, when it's running, the doors stay locked. So once you hop in, a couple things, the engine's going to stay running. Uh, as long as you don't hit the brake, the engine's going to stay running. And you still got to put the key in to unlock the steering wheel. So I'm going to go ahead and put the key in, turn it on, steering wheel's unlocked, you're good to go. You're welcome to press the brake and put that bad boy in gear. That's how you drive and take over driving your, your new Corolla with the Viper Smart Start. And you're ready to go, just like that. So, what are some of the benefits of uh, having a remote start? Uh, remote starts, they're great. Uh, I think, yeah, these, this person has a, a child, so they got a car seat. Remote Getting a run. child into a nice warm car is beneficial than just going into a cold car and having the child freeze. Oh, yeah. You know, a lot of people share driveways, especially if you're a big family. For sure. So, I could kind of see the benefit of having a remote start. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. That's a great reason. Uh, everyone's going to have their own attached, detached garages. All right. Cut! <laughs> so, you know, like another thing, can you explain, like, the different functions? You know, like, you were telling me how the rear defrost comes on, the seats come on at 55 degrees, but can you also tell them the other functions as far as having the defroster on yeah, and the for heat sure. for sure so take a little closer look uh, when you start your car your heater comes back on where you left it uh, if you have a front defrost that'll come back on where you left it uh, some vehicles the heated seats stay on um, but say your car doesn't have those heated seats that stay on when it's running uh, we can go ahead and activate those buttons for you they're temperature controlled, so above and below 55 degrees will either turn on or not. Uh, but for sure, I, I know I take some time to explain that, you know, on a few installs here and there, we're doing extras. We're hooking up rear defrost. We're hooking up heated seats. You know, I just want to make sure everyone knows that your heat is turning on. Um, and once you get the remote start, you're going to have a warm car. Um, SUVs like back windows don't collect snow, so you really don't need the rear defrost activation. Some cars have a slant back window that are going to accumulate and hold a lot of snow or ice. The, their rear defrost, it's optional, we don't do that on every car, but you know, having that rear defrost activation might, might save you some time of chipping away some ice and stuff on the back window. So, you know, be sure, we'll, we'll definitely take the time and go over the options for your car. They're going to vary, some cars, um, don't have rear defrost, you know, but rear defrost, you just see the activation. Those are the big, big ones that we do from, uh, you know, probably half of the time, depending on the car. And could we, uh, could we also take a look at that app again? Could you pull that up on your phone? Sure. Just so you could check it out. And uh, maybe you could also show us the fob. Yeah, no doubt. 
So here's a little closer look. So I got the, the app pulled up here. Um, it'll show the status and uh, it'll show that it's connected. This has a, a Bluetooth option. So there's no subscriptions or fees with this particular install. Um, you got uh, the center is going to be your start, lock and unlock. Um, I see you have a map on there. What's uh, what's the map do? Uh, the map is if you're going to, you know, so like when, when you hit lock here, the, the doors are going to lock and it's also going to note the last locked position. So like say you go to uh, on vacation, and then you're coming back from one, the airport. Coming back from the airport, and basically, you know, where did I park my car? Where did I park my car? Well, if you pull up on the on the map here, you know, there's find yourself and find your car. You know, the the find your car option will show a pin drop of where the last time you locked and uh, used the the app. Okay. So if you use the app, you know, locking and unlocking the doors. It's nice. It'll it'll. I'll note that there for you. I've seen you also had a trunk function on there. Uh, yes. It'll, it'll ask if you're sure you want to open the trunk, and then you just tap yes. Check that out. So, when you, when you hit the trunk, are you sure you want to open the trunk? You hit yes. And uh, this also has a weighted benefit in the summer because you also get the... Uh, yeah, so in the summertime, it's going to be nice as well. Using the remote start, it's going to cool the car. This particular car has the, the leather seats and it's a, a lighter color car. Uh, I would say these seats probably get toasty at times. So just to have that start up and get some air moving. And keep in mind too, like the last time you drove the car, it was probably warm and you had your air conditioning or your, your ventilation system on. So when you remote start it, it's just going to pick up wherever you left the heater set. So basically, you know, if it's summertime and hot out and you leave your air on, when you remote start, it's going to turn your air on. Wintertime, it's cold and you got left, you left your heat on, when you remote start your car, it's going to turn the heat on. So, it keep, you know, it's going to keep up with the environment and what you're using and how you like the car. Um, and then the, the and then on the uh, remote start remote that we're leaving. So on a day-to-day -day basis, these will be the two two fobs. You know, so normally lock and unlock with the factory remote, um, and then whenever we're ready for the remote start, we're gonna go ahead and tap that. So when you tap it, it gives you the green status that it received the signal. Boom! It's starting. And then during while it's running, it's just going to blink green. And then at the end of the cycle, it'll uh, chirp and blink orange to let you know that it timed out and shut off. So after 20 minutes, this is going to shut down. So after 20 minutes, it starts to shut down. And the remote will give you uh, a few soft chirps and a red light to just let you know that it timed out. So this, this vehicle is not run just for up to 20 minutes and then whenever you get to the car you know put the key in turn it on and drive away you know, the remote starts going to shut off uh, there is another feature this is called pit stop mode if you're running into the gas station and whatever the scenarios are that you might want to leave your car running and locked and secure check this out and we'll show you how to do that running let's just say I pulled up and I want to go inside and see the guys at stereo installs I'm gonna take my foot off the brake and tap the remote start button get the chirp on the remote I'm gonna take the keys out
back. That's so, pit stop mode. So where's everyone could where can everyone find you at? So we're at Menor on Tyler. Uh, here we are. This is 7507 Tyler. Come to the back here. Clock cross the street from Glassworks. Yeah, there you go. Got, got Glassworks over there. So come come on back. Uh, we're unit B. This is our bay door and our service door. Walk right through there. And we're all here to help. You want to take a quick cruise inside? Sure. Come check it out. There you go. Thank you. Uh, so, this is stereo installs. Uh, we got four bays. Got some incoming products. I'm working on a Jeep. We're doing a new head unit and backup camera. Right up there, working on a Forester for a remote start. Uh, we got a golf cart getting nice stereo, upholstery, painted, lit up. Slingshot. Davey. Hey, working. Davey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Um, Good to see you're playing it safe. Yeah, it's great. This is our environment. We're here all the time. Happy to help. If you need a remote start, stereo, any other cool accessories for your car, be sure to reach out. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel and our videos so we can keep them coming. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. Subscribe here now. Click here to watch our channel playlist. Click here for a video chosen for you by YouTube. Subscribe here now. Click here to watch our channel playlist. Click here for a video chosen for you by YouTube.